I've wanted to make use of this blank wall since I bought the house five years ago and I've just been waiting for the right inspiration and the Grand Iftar celebration that we had in Easton last year that was hosted by the Easton Jamia Masjid was um, such a powerful event where the whole community came together left such a lasting image that I wanted to capture that kind of celebration of the whole community eating, talking, enjoying each other's company. What did you want this mural to do? I wanted this mural to celebrate the richness of the diversity of this community, if not all of Bristol. Actually, it turns out there's been a study published that says Bristol's actually one of the least integrated uh, in terms of, of race and ethnicity, one of the least integrated cities in the country. So um, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a finding that has challenged a lot of people in the city to try and turn that around. And this is my small contribution towards that. I wanted to depict people listening to each other and um, feeling listened to. So uh, there was a, a gathering a few months back. It, it was actually in Easton. It was the first of four big conversations that are going to be held. The second one is tomorrow night. And I hope that these conversations are going to address some of the fundamental issues around um, lack of integration uh, or uh, inequality of opportunity in this city. The public reaction to the mural has been wholeheartedly positive to my knowledge and I sometimes sit upstairs with the window open overhearing comments and conversations as people go past and uh, as far as I can see people love it especially people who can either identify themselves or their house or different parts of Eastern that they're familiar with. I've also heard reports from others in the neighbourhood that, uh, that, yeah, people really like it. Really happy with it. So that's great, that's what I wanted. There are some real characters up there and some of them Andy got to know during the painting process. Some of the characters have evolved, they didn't look the way they do now. And um, a couple of them are people that we know, so it's a bloke across the road who is up there in a blue turban. It's a joint project. <laughs> there's, um, there's a bloke in a, a blue denim shirt that I actually met at the first Year of Change conversation. He really impressed me because he was not just talking about symbolic changes in the city, like getting rid of posted statues, real economic change and um, serious um, economic opportunities for people of different ethnicities. And so what was it like working with Mr. Burns Hopwell? It was great working with Andy. It was challenging because we came together with quite different Cheers. mental pictures. Andy is very political and has uh, some things that he wants to say about the problems in the world and the idiocy and the stupidity and the folly. Whereas I really wanted this to be a celebration of, of a quality that I think already exists and I wanted it to be optimistic. So there was a bit of toing and froing in the initial concept design. A little. But, but he's great. Um, what, the clearer I became, and the more able I was to articulate that, maybe in verbal pictures, mm. the more able he was to turn that into visual pictures. She's so. very picturesque when she gets upset, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was able to comment all the way through and ask for changes and specific requests, specific input. But I would say by and large, uh, the characters, the people, the buildings, and we had a significant amount of artistic license.
absolutely did. That's how it should be. You're the artist. I, I just really wanted to evoke the theme, the theme, the atmosphere, the point, like the, you know, my vision for it. And the content is really down to the man with a brush in his hand. It did say brush. <laughs> yeah. No spray cans. No spray cans. Brushes and rollers. It, it was fascinating to watch the process mm. as well. The whole technical aspect of how do you turn something that's a drawing on a, you know, an A3 piece of paper into something that is, I don't know, what are the measurements? 35 and 40. That you're standing just a few feet away from. So all the plumb lines and the guide marks, all of that stuff. It was just great. Thank you very much for your time. Pleasure.